Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your boy uh, Willie V, aka Boo Boy Kennels. Uh, this is a tutorial for a uh, fellow YouTuber. Sorry, I do not know how to pronounce your name, but I will give it a try. If I butcher it, my apologies. Uh, the person's name is Gartensburg360. I'm pretty sure I butchered the, the name terribly but it's G A R T E N Z W E R G 360 and since I don't know whether you're a male or female I'm just gonna have to say uh, person so uh, this particular person had a uh, well had a few questions on how to use QuickTime because they just just recently purchased it and they wanted to use it for uh, video and audio editing. Now, the the one thing about QuickTime or QuickTime Pro, because that's the uh, upgrade you did purchase, it's not necessarily a full-fledged video audio editor, but it does have a lot of the capabilities of being able to do many of the video and audio editing aspects. It's it's more of a video audio editor player. That's really more of what I I consider it. Um, but as I as I did mention in my uh, email to you, this is a program I do highly recommend to many people. All right, let's uh let's get to your uh, first question. Um one of the questions you had was how to record video or audio using QuickTime. Now, while you have QuickTime open, you, you want to go to the file and either select new movie recording or new audio recording. And this will allow you to capture audio or video onto your computer via a built-in microphone a microphone that you plug in usually uh, it's a USB mic unless you happen to find one that's a uh, firewire which if you do you're going to pay a lot more for that uh, also the same thing with the uh, new movie recording you can also record um, videos via a uh, built-in webcam a plug-in webcam or a firewire uh, camera and the, the way to select it is you would first plug in your camera and then launch QuickTime. But if you already have QuickTime open, just go to the uh, first menu for QuickTime Player, select Preferences, and then you'll see these three options. You want to select the very last one, Recording. And from here, you'll select your video source. So right now I don't have a, a camera plugged in so the only source I have is my eyesight. So it's set on automatic but you can select either or while it's already open or plug in your camera, turn it on and then fire up QuickTime. Um, same thing with the quality you have the uh, H2, H.264 which is more than likely what you're going to want to use if you're going to keep it on your computer and they have some some other ones on here as well or if you pick uh, device native it'll pretty much be you know what your your camera is for the most part and then the uh, location that you're saving the file to so that is how you would record any audio or video so once you have it up hit the record button commence to recording your audio or video once it's done stop the record button it'll finalize your file and you'll have it either as a uh, AAC M4A AIFF was AIFF or AIF format and also the movie depending on the format that you selected to uh, save it as now your other question was you say you had a bunch of videos that were on another computer and basically you wanted to 
mesh or join them together. Now, um, I would show you the way through terminal to do that. The problem with that is it's there's a lot of movie formats that terminal won't be able to do because of the header information that's inside the video files. So it won't allow it to really combine them the way that it's doing. Now it will work with other formats, just not every format. So I mean if you want the uh, terminal command on how to do that if you're on a Mac I can uh, provide that for you um, but I do believe um, you, you're on a PC so I guess that wouldn't work too much um, but there is a way to do it on the PC as well I just have to jog my brain and remember how that was done but anyways the the main question you have was how to do this through QuickTime and as I mentioned, um, you want to open up your videos. So, you know, for I have two videos set up already that I'm going to be using. Uh, I labeled it as video one, video two. Uh, you also want to add uh, voiceover. So I'm going to use a uh, M4A or AAC audio track. Could be MP3, Wave. You know, a majority of um, audio codec files. Now, your one question was, you you wanted to be able to add the voiceover. All right. So what I did was I already opened up a audio file, which is actually from Big Pun's album, but you know it can be whatever. And I've pre-selected 28 seconds, about 28 seconds, of the audio of the beginning of the audio file. Now, if you notice these two little tabs, these are the tabs that you'll move left to right to select the portion of the audio that you want to overlay on your video. So I already have that pre-selected. That's step one. Uh, step number two is to go to your video, which in my case would be video one. And I've already selected 28 seconds of of an area that I want to use. Now this particular video already has audio so you want the audio that you're going to be overlaying to have a higher volume and to do that you can hit command J you'll get this property box and you'll see where it says soundtrack so if your, if your audio is too low just adjust the volume uh, if it's a good audio quality, then you can definitely bring it up, you know, to plus six decibels, or you know, fiddle around with it till you actually get it to where you want. Now, with the video file, you can do the same thing: select your video, Command J, and you'll see I'll have a video track and soundtrack. Now, if I didn't want no audio in this at all but I just want to be able to talk over it I can either um, lower the volume down to zero decibels or while it's the soundtrack is highlighted I can delete that particular um, audio soundtrack in this video file but for now I'm gonna leave it as is all right, let me uh, go to the beginning of this particular clip, and I'll play a little part of it. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is your boy, uh, Willie V, a.k.a. Boo Boy Kennels of iTexter.com. have um, three tips here that I'd like to... All right, as you can see, the section that I already have selected, it's still playing the audio from the video. But we're going to go ahead and uh, overlay this particular part. Now, since I already have it pre-selected, um, what you want to do is go to uh, File, or your menu, Edit, Copy, and select the video file that you're working with. And you want to do Edit, Add to Selection, and Scale. And that way it'll insert the audio within the area that you want. You don't want you do not want to select add to movie 
because what that'll do is it'll push the audio to the end of where your marker is at. So unless you that's what you want to do on purpose, then do it that way. But if not, edit, add to selection and scale. So now when I play this back, let me just move it over some. What's up everyone? This is your boy uh, Willie V, aka Boo Boy Kennels of iTexture.com. My darling, darling baby. All right, and now you heard the audio. Now, this is the same audio that was already here. Now play this back. My darling, darling baby. So that way you know I already did an overlay of audio. So it can be an audio track, it can be an uh, audio track that you recorded, and, um, you know, pretty much almost any type of audio track that is supported uh, by QuickTime Pro. Now, your uh, final question was how to combine two video files. So being able to, this is video one, I'm gonna take these markers and I'm gonna move them all the way to the very end. This is my first video. So I'm gonna move that to the end, make sure it's all the way to the end. And then on video two, I'm gonna take the right side marker and move that one all the way to the very end while leaving the left marker at the beginning because I want to select the whole video. Now, if you only want a portion of this, then you know, then move the slider to where you want, and then you only select this portion that's when the that's within the dark gray area. But for now, I want the whole entire video and audio. So I'm gonna hit Command J just to make sure that everything is selected. As you can see, this is a video two, video track soundtrack all right now we'll go back to edit copy now we'll click on the uh, main video which is video one and this time we'll click on edit add to movie and now as you can see it's added this gray area into my video now say for example that the first movie you want is this is video one but video two is a, a larger dimension just hit uh, command J and you'll see again your video properties you want to select video track visual settings and in the scaled size, so we'll just, we'll just assume that this particular video is um, you know, twice, twice the size. Now, we can either select it so that the dimension is the same width. Now, and the height will vary, so it could be taller or shorter. Um, you can mess with that to see how it looks or if you want to use your own dimensions again remove the uh, preserve aspect ratio and then make your changes in here and that way this video uh, width and height will match the first video all right now that we've already added the video as an extended uh, video here. Let's just uh, scroll to the beginning and I'll go right near the very end of the prior video. Willie V aka Boo Boy Kennels of iTexture.com and as always thank you for taking the time to watch. And now you see that the second video is starting up. Hey what's up everybody it's your boy Willie V aka Boo. So once we've uh, reviewed it and it's to our liking. We'll go ahead and uh, select file and we can either uh, save as, and we can save it as a self contained movie, or we can select export. And on your uh, export, uh, 
settings. Um, if it's not on the one you want, click on the drop down menu. And we can either select, um, more than likely, you're going to do a movie to QuickTime movie or a movie to MPEG 4. I would probably uh, say it's safe to say you want to stay with the uh, QuickTime unless you want to change the format to AVI. Totally up to you. But if you want a movie to QuickTime movie, select that. Um, you can check the options. And within your movie settings, it'll show the compression, H.264. Uh, your filter, your size, it'll show the size that this will be exported to, which as you can see the dimension is 640 by 352. And also the sound. Um, one of the most important things to do, especially if you want to put this on a, on a website, is make sure that the prepare for internet streaming fast start is enabled if not what will end up happening is when the people first visit your video it'll it'll download the entire video first then play you don't want to do that you want it to start playing almost immediately while it's still downloading so you know just go through your settings make sure it's, it's how you want your frames um, you know, you can mess with different aspects of it, the quality. Uh, as always, you know, to get the best quality out of it, the multi-pass is the best. Might might produce a little larger file, but, uh, you know, it, it depends what you want. Do you want quality or do you want size? Uh, I'm more of a believer I'll stick with the quality and sacrifice the size. So once you have all that set up, straightened out, you know just hit OK and then you can click on save but before hitting save um, you may want to name your movie a different give it a different name and go ahead and name that I'm not gonna go ahead and save this but you get the idea just give it a different name hit save and it'll go through its encoding process and when it's done it'll save it to wherever you have your location set to Anyways, um, I hope this uh, helped you out. If uh, you still have any questions, uh, you know, definitely uh, contact me by PM or email, either or. Um, if you prefer to contact me by email, it's uh, bullboykennels at gmail.com. And I'll, I'll be happy to answer any questions that I'm able to. All right. As always, this is uh, Willie V, a.k.a. Booboy Kennels. And thank you for taking the time to watch.